So Eid Adha is basically a festival of sacrifice because uh, Abraham was told by Allah to sacrifice his beloved son named Ishmael, who he loved very much as a sin for. And he did, and Ishmael agreed to this. So we're going to celebrate it by sacrificing in the name of Allah. Eid Adha is celebrated on the 10th day of the 12 months uh, of the Muslim lunar calendar, unlike the Gregorian calendar, ours is different. The month is also called the Hijra. Uh, Prophet Ibrahim, or they call it Abraham in the West, uh, he wanted a son really bad, and his wife Sarah couldn't bear a child. So he prayed to God that he could have a son, and he, he married to a second uh, woman, second wife, named Hagar. And then God uh, gave him a child, uh, Hagar could bear a child, and Abraham named this child Ishmael. So this is about 3,000 years ago, and uh, Allah commanded uh, Abraham to go from Canaan to Mecca. And so he did, and he left his wife and his son Hagar and uh, Ishmael with uh, food and water. But while, meanwhile, uh, Hagar and Ishmael ran out of uh, food and water, and Hagar ran seven times between the town Safwa and Marwa. So, um, Hagar tried to find water these seven times while she was running, but she couldn't. And Ishmael, he stamped his foot, and then suddenly water came up from where he stamped the ground. Uh, and it, the water has fed millions of people, and it still hasn't dried yet. Uh, the well is called Zamzam. Years later, uh, Ibrahim came back to Mecca, and God commanded him to uh, sacrifice his son, his beloved son, Ishmael. And right now, right, right at that moment, uh, Ishmael is 13, and Ibrahim is 99 years old. So, the devil, or Satan, in this place, uh, it, he would try to persuade uh, Abraham to not kill his child. And he, he went to Abraham first, but Abraham threw stones at Satan. And then he went to Hagar, and Hagar threw stones at, at, at Satan. And he went to Ishmael, and Ishmael did the same. Uh, so that's why when people perform haji or pilgrimage, they have to throw pebbles at a structure that would signify Satan in at Mina. So anyways, uh, Abraham took Ishmael to Mount Moriah, I think, and he was about to uh, sacrifice Ishmael, but God placed the son, I mean Ishmael, uh, with a big ram or a goat. Precise. So, well, don't criticize me on how I told the story. My dad just said it, and I'm a 10 year old boy. I can only understand it and recite it. And he was on that point, but the, the big idea is that you, uh, is that Abraham had had accepted that God uh, God wanted Ishmael to be sacrificed and Hagar ha had the willingness to let that happen and Ishmael did too. So the main lesson is to be obedient obedient to God's will. Well willing. So that's why we have this festival today and I just saw a cow being slaughtered in that room there, uh, which symbolizes how 
uh, Abraham's willingness to obey to God's command and will. So, uh, the meat has to be cleaned, and it will be divided into three parts. One part is for you and your family. The second part is for your friends and your relatives. The third part is for to give to the people who thought well, the poor. What something something I forgot to mention is that a cow is equivalent to seven goats or sheep. So that means uh, seven people can share a cow. I saw the two cows. They were, I'd say, two, third, two, two times my size, maybe three times.